Alright, so this is uh, the intro to the install. Um, this is the Abasa. I don't know if I'm saying that even right. Uh, car, vehicle, parking, view, monitor, video camera. Uh, that's the shittiest way of saying it. Anyway, it's the box that comes in. This is the paperwork inside of it. That's it. Nothing else. Um, make sure like, that the mirror is not cracked. Mine came cracked the first time. Either the idiots that packaged it and sent it to me didn't pack it right. Which is, you know, it's normal. You know, you have places where these idiots work at, and they don't give a shit. When I got the box, it was all damaged on both ends. I bought it through Amazon. Told them they're gonna refund my money and in the process I bought another one because I want to do the install on the weekend so you know stupid shit so when you get the kit and make sure the glass isn't broken you just want to do a part check to make sure these people at the facility didn't do anything else stupid you know first box comes damaged who knows what else these stupid idiots are doing but the problem is, is there's no instruction manual on this thing so you're just looking at a bunch of wires and hoping that's it so I went online on Amazon and I got photos in the install. So it shows the mirror, shows the video line, shows the video and a power one. You got yellow and red going down to the unit. So obviously it connects. And then there's a black wire that goes into the red power line. Uh, well, the power line that then says uh, power cable to vehicle reverse light. Or this one here, it's a little bit more detailed than the top one. Um, which I like better. So it shows the backup camera, shows the two wires coming out of it, the yellow and the red. It shows one yellow wire that connects to the other yellow plug, runs all the way up to the, the uh, mirror. Then the other wire, the red wire, the hot wire, the power wire, goes into basically like a, it's like, it's like you know, a wiring switch. So you have the black wire connects into the red wire, which that wire you, what you can do is just tap into your reverse light. So pop off one of your lights, uh, splice the wiring, and cut into one of your uh, reverse lights. Um, then you have the power cable, 112 ignition switch. Now I'm going to see if that's just, if you could just connect that to the battery, like I've done with everything else I've done, or you actually have to tap into the ignition switch and the ignition fuse. I don't know why they wanted the ignition switch. Maybe that was just something in their write-up. I don't know. But I'm going to find that out soon enough. And then, you know, that red plug goes into that black plug. So basically, the, the black plugs are, the, are the, where the power source runs. So now you know what's in the kit. Let's make sure that's what's in the kit. So you got your mirror. You got your plugs. The white plug is if you have an LCD monitor in your dashboard and you just want to plug the whole unit into the dashboard and you just have the mirror because what this mirror does is actually attaches to your existing mirror now I saw ones that had like a velcro strap on them which I thought were really dope this just has uh, the bottom that slides up and down the little peg and it just has that where it's going to grip on for me I do a lot of off-roading so I really don't think that's going to hold too well but I'll see I don't want that falling and smashing I'll be really pissed then you got your backup camera. Another lovely thing is they do not tell you what's the top and bottom. So obviously before you attach that permanently to your license plate in the rear, make sure you know what's, what it looks like. You know, you just get it all set up and plumbed up and just put it in reverse and see if the image is upside down or not. Pretty obvious. But some people these days, there is no obvious. You got your yellow, you got your red. Make sure that the prongs are perfect inside. Make sure everything's right. Then you got the two black power wires. One goes to the mirror, which then, which goes to your ignition switch, and then the other one goes to your reverse light. Now, as you can tell, they're not that long. So obviously, what wherever you're sticking these guys, they got to be close by. And you know, they got the red and black. You know, the black is the ground, the red is the power. Um, same thing like with the reverse lights. You know, one's going to go to the the power and one's going to go to a ground. Either you're going to ground it within the light housing or you uh, tap into the grounding uh, wire within the light housing. 
and then you have basically your your running wire. Uh, what your running wire is is the wire that's going to actually connect your main monitor slash rearview mirror to your backup camera, and that's what this is. Um, I'm putting this on a pickup truck with an eight-foot bed and a um, crew cab, late model truck. So I don't know if that spool of wire is enough, but uh, I'm going to find out. And for me, it needs to be about 20 feet.